this video is created by Jagrat Creations. This video is on joint venture accounts where in separate joint venture books are being maintained. I invite all those students who want to study joint venture accounts to this video lectures. I want to solve one sum here before you. Just observe it. This is the sum that I intend to solve here before you. Anujit and Pinang enter into a joint venture as dealers in land. They agreed to share the profits and losses in the ratio of 4 is to 1. They decided, I'm sorry, they deposited 2,50,000 and 3,50,000 respectively in the joint bank account. They purchased a plot of land measuring 5,000 square meters at a cost of Rs. 105 per square meter. They paid following expenses from joint bank account. Registration charges, stamp duties, legal advisors fee, missiles expenditure, brokerage. They prepared a plan for selling the plot of land. It is said in the said plan, 20% of the land left over for public roads and 10% of the land is left over for public park and remaining land was divided into 25 plots of equal size. 15 plots were sold by Anujit for Rs. 300 per square meter and the remaining plots were sold by Pina for Rs. 325 per square meter. Both are entitled to 5% commission on sales, prepare joint venture account, joint bank account and partner's capital account. So we are required to prepare capital accounts for all the partners. So when the partner's capital accounts are to be prepared, it implies that the joint venture accounting has to be done in an independent business. When we are required to prepare capital accounts, it, it implies that joint venture is being given the accounting entity. So joint venture business is identified as a separate accounting entity independent to the partners. And in such situation, you have to prepare partners capital account. Similarly, for the purpose of recording bank transaction, joint bank account is also open. So it also, it also implies that we are required to prepare independent books of accounts for recording all these joint venture transactions. So these are the accounts to be prepared in the books of joint ventures, identified as separate accounting entity, though joint venture businesses are not given separate names. As we give the names to the business, generally joint venture businesses are not given the names. But let me start with independent books. So this is the details of the sum. Here I prepare joint venture account, joint bank account and partner's capital account, Anujit and Pina. They have agreed to share the profits and losses in the ratio of 4 is to 1. So let me write down the profit sharing ratio at the title. They deposited 2,50,000 and 3,50,000 respectively in their joint bank account. So joint bank account, the amount is deposited, which is given as contribution by the partners, joint co-venturers. So amount is deposited in the bank, bank is the receiver, debit the bank. So joint bank account is to be debited for being receiver and uh, these co-venturers are giver of the funds, credit the giver, but they have given the amount in the status of capital, so capital account is to be credited for that. So joint bank account debit to Anujit capital account, joint bank account credit to, joint bank account debit to Pinan capital account. This is how first transaction gets recorded. Now they have purchased 5,000 square meters at a cost of 105. So 5,000 into 105 is the purchase price. Though the land is purchased, but it is a commodity. Or even in the joint venture business, it's a short term partnership. No going concern concept is being applied. So even if the assets are purchased for the purpose of using, joint venture account is to be debited. That's an important point to be understood. So even though the land is purchased, it is not identified as asset. And in case of joint venture, where no going concern concept is followed, any purchases are identified as revenue purchases. So this purchase of land considered as a revenue item. It is debited to joint venture account. Joint venture account is prepared on the basis of matching concept. The purpose of joint venture account is to find out the profit or loss of joint venture business. It is a functional account. It is allied to trading and profit and loss account. So land purchases are debited to joint venture account. Payment is made out of bank. So 5,000 into 105, file at 25,000 purchase price of land. Payment is made from bank. Bank is the giver, credit the giver. So bank account is to be credited. Now these are the expenses paid from joint bank account. 
all the expenses are debited to joint venture account under matching concept. So joint venture account debit to bank account credit. Similarly, stamp duty paid out of joint bank. Joint venture account debit to bank account. Legal advisor's fee. Same way, expenses paid are debited to joint venture account. Payment is made out of bank. Bank is a giver. Credit is a giver. Bank account is to be credited for that. So joint venture account debit to joint bank account. Missiles expenditure paid. Same way, joint venture account debit to joint bank account. Brokerage paid. Joint venture account debit to joint bank account. This is how file like 80,750 is the total payment made out of joint bank account. It is for purchase of land as well as expenses being paid. Now next transaction. They prepared a plan. Now let us identify the number of plots that is being prepared. Let me prepare a working note. Total area of the land purchased is 5000 square meters. 20% are marked for land, public roads, so 20% of 5,000, 1,000 square meters. 10% is for public park, I'm sorry, 5, 10% is for public park, 20% is for public roads. Now the available land for sale is 3,500 divided into 25 plots. So 3,500 is divided by 25. So every plot is made of 140 square meters. That's an important point. This is an important calculation that students should notice. Now, how the plots are being sold? 15 plots. Each plot is of 140 square meters. And 300 per square meter. So 15 plots are sold. At the rate of rupees 300 per square meter. And every plot is made of 140 square meters. So what is the sales revenue? The sales revenue is going to be credited to joint venture account. So you are required to work out 15 plots into 140 into 300. So 630,000 is the sales revenue of how many plots? 15 plots. Total number of plots are 25. Out of 25, 15 plots are sold. So how many are the remaining plots? So 25 plots are there. 15 are sold. Remaining plots are 25 minus 15, 10 plots. The amount sold, sales proceeds are deposited in the joint bank. So joint bank account is to be debited. So joint bank account debit, revenue credited to joint venture account. Now the remaining plots are sold at 325 per square meter. What are the remaining plots? 15. How many square meter per plot? 140. So 15 into 140. What is the sales price per square meter? 325. So sales revenue works out to be 25 minus 15, 10 plots into 140 square meter per plot. 325 is the rate. This is the amount of revenue credited to joint venture account. The amount is presumed to be deposited or always deposited in the joint bank account. So joint bank, bank account is to be debited. These are the sales proceeds. So sales proceeds deposited in the joint bank. Joint bank is the receiver, debit the receiver, revenue credited to joint venture account. Both are entitled to 5% commission. So those who have sold the plots, the sales value thereof should be applied with percentage for commission. So commission for Anujit, 6 lakh 30,000 into 5%. 31,500, it's an expense for joint venture business and the amount is to be given to Anujit for the services rendered by him. So joint venture account debit to Anujit capital account credit. Similarly, work out the commission for Pinang. So sales revenue fetched by Pinang is 4 lakh 55,000, 3% thereof, 5% thereof. So 4 lakh 50,000 into 5%, that works out to be 22,750. This commission is an expense of joint venture business debited to joint venture account and it is to be paid to partners so Pinang's capital account is to be credited. This is how all these transactions are recorded. After that, I am required to find out the profit of joint venture business. So total of credit minus total of debit. This is the profit that will be distributed in the ratio of 4 is to 1. So 4 like 50,000 into 4 fifth. And 4,50,000 into 1 fifth, this is a share of PINA. This profit is distributed. So, joint venture account debit to partners capital account is to be credited. So, 3,60,000 is credited to Anujit capital account. PINA capital account credited with uh, 90,000, 3,60,000 and 90,000. This is the distribution of profit. Now, redeem the partners capital as the joint venture business is being done. So, this is the amount payable to Anujit. 
and this is the amount payable to Penang. Penang will be paid 4 lakh 62,750. So this 4 lakh 62,750 and 6 lakh 6 paid to partners. So payment is made out of joint bank account. So bank is the giver of funds to the partners. Joint bank account is to be credited for that. So joint bank account is to be credited. Now business is closed down. The task that was undertaken under joint venture is being completed. Profit is distributed. The total of joint bank account should tally on both the sides. Receipt should agree with the payment. So total of receipts and payment. Make a total of receipts and payment. You will find 16,85,000 on both the side total. This is our total salary. No balance is left on conclusion of the business. So this is also a sum wherein separate independent books for joint venture transactions are being recorded and explained to you. I feel that you follow all these things, just notice. Thanks to